Now that Sony has acquired Bungie, the possibility of seeing a Destiny movie or TV show has increased a ton. They say, It's not just for the gaming area, but the multi-using of IP and merchandising of IP, like a game title may be put into movies. Bungie wants to nurture the IP they have in a multi-dimensional manner, and that's their hope. For that, we believe we can help that. We have Sony Pictures and Sony Music, and Bungie can leverage our platform so that their IP can flourish and grow big. So if we do see a Destiny movie or TV series down the line, what should it be about? Let's dive into some epic Destiny tales that would fit perfectly on the big screen. Welcome on in everyone, let's discuss Destiny movies and TV show ideas. The following ideas come from Destiny's lore and do not appear in the game as main storylines, most of them at least. So I feel that these would fit perfectly into different forms of media. For example, a comic book turning into a TV show like The Walking Dead. If you're into the lore, you know some of the plot, but it would be totally different and portrayed in a fresh new way. These are in no particular order and leave your own ideas in the comments below. Shin Mao Fur and Dredgen Yor. Now this one has to be one of my personal favorites. During the Dark Age, there was a settlement called Palamon out in the wilds of Earth. Palamon was ruled by a tyrant, the magistrate Loki. One day, a savior showed up in a light bearer, or one of the first guardians, known as Jaren Ward, the original creator of the Last Word. Jaren would liberate Palamon from Loki and became the guardian of this small group of people. He lived here for a while and even became an adoptive father to a boy named Shin Malfur. Jaren protected Palamon for a time until one day it was burned to the ground. A dark warlord approached Palamon and destroyed everything, and his name was Rezalazir, or better known as Dredgen Yor. Jaren Ward could not protect Palamon this time. Jaren and Shin would then venture into the wilds to try and track down the murderer, but Jaren was killed. In the aftermath, his adoptive son Shin would acquire his ghost, his last word, and hunt down Dredgen Yor for the crimes he committed against his home of Palamon. Eventually, Shin kills Dredgen with Jaren's last word hand cannon at Dwindler's Ridge, saying this, I thought back to my earliest days, of Palamon, of Jaren. Leveling my cannon at the dead man's helm, I paid one final tribute to my mentor, my savior, my father and my friend. Yours, not mine. As I close my grip, allowing Jaren's cannon, now my own, to have the last loud word. So that tale is just incredible. This comes from Destiny 1 Grimoire Card's Ghost Fragment Last Word, but the tale goes even beyond that as we've seen in Destiny 2, with Shin hunting down the Shadows of Yore and also the Drifter. And that story kind of has the perfect setup, right? You can have like the prologue where Jaren Ward shows up to Palamon and saves the town from their tyrant leader, and then that hero dies, and his adoptive son has to take up his gear and hunt down the man who killed him to avenge his death with his own weapon pretty cool. Clovis Bray and the Exo Project The whole corrupted story of Clovis Bray and the Exo Program would make a great film or TV show. On the icy tundras of Europa, a mad scientist would convert human minds into mechanical bodies, implanting their consciousness to create a new form, the Exo. Some Exos are actually pretty helpful. They became guardians and would assist humanity but the way and secrets behind their creation is actually quite brutal. Clovis Bray experimented on many humans and often stole them, bringing them to Europa to become these machines. Exo's minds are wiped and can be reset, which is said to fix some of the issues with the human brain and the robot body, but is also to just delete sensitive information, information that Clovis Bray didn't want the rest of the world to know. Picture Clovis Bray deploying this mindless human being robot to go and assassinate a target on Venus, for example. The Exo goes there, conducts the mission, comes back, and it's like, okay, I killed the subject, but Clovis Bray can just wipe the mind and the trace of that ever happening is just out the window. 
This form of media could follow the tale of someone like maybe Cade Six or the Exo Stranger. Cade was brought to Europa to become an Exo because he had some debt he couldn't get rid of. We could follow his journey back to the Deepstone Crypt where he would want to learn about his past life as a human. He had a wife and possibly a son named Ace, if they even existed. Or you have characters like the Exo Stranger, the granddaughter of Clovis Bray who was converted into an Exo to, quote, save her life. Confidential intelligence activated. Centuries since our collective passing, and yet my granddaughters, Elizabeth and Anastasia, stand before me alive. Clovis? Yes, Anastasia. It's me. Incredible. I assume since you've made it this far, you've come for the search. The possibilities are really endless, and the madman Clovis converting himself into an AI and implanting his memory into Banshee long ago can even be another storyline. The Dark Age Warlords, the Drifter's Origin, or maybe even the Iron Lords. The Dark Age time period of Destiny is quite unique. We don't really have any insight into this period beyond lore cards and some of the Rise of Iron cutscenes. But this was a time when Dark Warlords and the First Lightbearers would rule over Earth. This is the same time as Jaren Ward and the Shin Malfur story. Now for some reason, I always picture this as like a more medieval time period for some reason, which might make sense given humanity was rebuilding. But there are also tons of stories and mysteries from this Dark Age, like the origin story of the Drifter and how he had his own bar, or battles between the evil warlords and the Iron Lords. The Awoken The Awoken were born from humans fleeing the darkness or collapse aboard a spaceship. When the light and dark collided, they were sent into a pocket dimension where this new race was born from modern day humans, the Awoken. Imagine a movie telling this story. It opens up with that scene just described, and as it proceeds in the distributary, Mara fights battles to become the queen and eventually learns of their ancestors back on Earth. Now, those who wish to join her will race to the finish to leave the pocket world and fly back to the solar system to reunite with their ancient human ancestors. The Golden Age and Detection of the Traveler the Golden Age of Humanity is something else we hear about but never see, like the Dark Age. In-game now, we can see cities like Freehold and buildings belonging to Bray Corp covered in rubble and dust. What if we got to see what these buildings and sprawling cities looked like as the Traveler terraformed our worlds, learning what the machine first was back on Mars and even preparing for that collapse? St. Fourteen's Crusade on the Fallen Picture something like The Mandalorian, a Star Wars-like universe where Saint-14 is a bounty hunter, I know it fit more with a hunter, but this would dive into the tales of Saint-14 massacring the Elixni people long ago and then dealing with those decisions later on. And when we pursued it, you sent something back. A creature fueled by hatred. It tore through our great houses like they were nothing. And then it came for the rest of us. Nowhere was safe from its insatiable rage. Live to speak of these horrors. It called itself the Saint. Another fun thing to think about is what would this look like? Would you personally rather see a live-action movie or TV show, or animated like the Spider-Verse, or just in-game cinematics? To me personally, I think a movie that looks like this would be pretty cool. Anyway, Guardians, thank you so much for watching this video. Destiny has so many amazing stories I'd like to see turned into different media, and let me know your favorite down below. 
If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you, Guardians, in the next one.